Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are playing more Gold Rush. Uh, in the last video, we started off our gold prospecting career by rolling into town, uh, renting old Arnold's parcel from the bank, uh, buying a slightly extended version of the Tier 1 hog pan mining setup, and then processing enough dirt to get us to, as you can see in the top right, just over 10 ounces. But now, we actually have to go into town to smelt that gold down so that we can actually sell it. Uh, let's check the map. Uh, we are way over here in Old Arnold's Parcel, and the blacksmith is in town, and then we hook a right. So, let's fire up the engine. Take it out of park, and head back for town. It is kind of annoying to have to drive all the way into town each time, uh, but like I mentioned before, as long as you're pretty good about preparing for each trip, and so making as few trips as possible, then it's really not that bad. And I believe uh, there was, yes, uh, there was another story that I drove by on the way up here earlier. Uh, oh, there it is under the wood. All right. Oh, not escape. Tab to go to the journal and to the stories. Uh, we read that one about Old Arnold's parcel last time. Uh... And this one was the creepy one we read from earlier on in the factory area. Uh, all right. We found something. We found a missing child. They lived in the factory for a few months. Parents are on their way now, so I hope it'll be calm in the factory now. Vasa's journal. All right. So I guess that's a slightly less creepy resolution to the previous story we found. And I think I remember there being another one. Yeah, right around here. Uh, yep, right here. Um, damn it, I keep hitting escape when I mean to hit tab. Uh, Nighthawk parcel. Uh, old Arnold's. Here we go. Factory magnetite area. Ben, watch out! What? Endless streams of magnetite was falling through the ceiling. Shivd. Shivd? Uh, turn on the machine. Now! There's, there is too much material. I'm trying, but it won't start. Shivd was... Oh, Shivd is a name. Okay. Shivd was struggling with the levers, but each of them were stuck. I thought Shivd was some sort of a, uh, a foreign swear word that I didn't know about. Uh, so like I said, I think each of those story pages gives you a uh, some sort of a discount with, I think, the gas station and maybe with the, uh, the blacksmith, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's another uh, lag spike as the game loads more of itself. The faster you go, the more floaty some of the uh, driving can be. Just over the railroad tracks. And then take a right at the fork, because that will bring us more close to uh, the blacksmith. Turn off the differential lock now that we're back on normal road. And we'll just carefully loop our truck into the blacksmith parking lot. Uh, and it looks like they have a story as well. Yeah, right under the bench. Alright, this time I didn't hit escape. <clears throat> uh, no, that's that. Old Arnold's blacksmith. Dehiru, grab the hammer and come over here. <clears throat> Jesus. Coming! Could you hurry? This iron is very hot. Deheru was the first and only blacksmith's apprentice in the last ten years. There were many reasons for that. 
One of them was the fact that blacksmith, that blacksmith was crazy. Secondly, it's not the most profitable business in the area. It's true that you won't ever get out of the job because of all the gold miners around. It's true that you won't ever get out of the job because of all the gold miners around, but there is a limit on how much you can charge them for your job. There is no hammer here. Where did you put it, Steven? It has to be on the forge. Don't mind it. Come over here and put on your gloves. I need your help. Interesting. All right, so the blacksmith kind of works like the bank. You go up to the doors and you hit E. They can do a few different things. Uh, there's smelting gold, which is what we're about to do in a minute. Uh, you can upgrade them by using magnetite, which we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, you can sell magnetite, which, like with the upgrading, isn't going to make sense. Or you can sell the gold ore directly. You'd never want to do this if you can help it, because the price is a lot lower for just straight gold ore. As you can see, it's 40% of what you would be getting out of the gold itself. <clears throat> now, the bad thing is that we can only smelt 1.5 ounces right now because of only having $145 left to our name. And that was partially due to the fact that I bought the extra sluice, uh, the extra hog pan related stuff. It does take some time, but 15 minutes of in-game time doesn't really take a whole lot. Uh, and you also do lose some of the gold as it is smelted. So, uh, it'll take some time before Blacksmith will smelt you a gold bar. You'll be notified when that happens. Uh, really though, I think I'm gonna run over here because I believe there's another story page? Yes, it is down here. Uh, because right now we have zero dollars, so there's not really much else for us to do while we wait for the, uh, the blacksmith to finish. Uh, Calm down, Betty. We can reheat it later, said young apprentice. We don't have time for that. The customer will be here tonight. We need to do it now, Deheru. Take this mold and put it inside the crucible. You, we'll make it fast. It's so messy in here. What did you do yesterday with all that stuff? Don't mind. Just focus on work. Deheru grabbed the mold and the crucible and took a position next to Stephen Batty. Oh, I thought it was a woman named Betty. All right, it's uh, apparently Stephen's last name. And uh, took a position next to Stephen Batty. That day had been long, too long for all of them. But at the end, the customer was satisfied, and that's what matters. Uh, I'm not sure if the customer is supposed to be me. Um, are there any more pages? There's one more left um, in the section of the journal for the blacksmith, but where the hell would it be? It's not back there. Unless it's by his car? No. I almost got stuck there. And it's not by this dumpster. Hmm. And it's not way in by the garage door, either. Where the hell is it? Also, why the hell hasn't the gold... There we go. Go to the blacksmith and take your shiny gold bar. It'll appear in your hands after you close the blacksmith window. So you have to go back to the blacksmith, and then as soon as you exit this, you have a physical gold bar in your inventory. Uh, what's nice is it actually says the name of the game, Gold Rush, but also shows how big it is. So 1.8 ounces. Now, we have a lot more gold to sell, or to smelt, but we can't actually do it yet because we have zero dollars. So now we get to drive all the way back to the bank, which is thankfully just in the middle of town. And then we can sell that bar and use the profit from it. Oh, drove right into the telephone pole. Uh, use the profit from it in order to uh, smelt the rest. Alright, so, what you can also do is if you check the stock, it will tell you the current price of gold. It looks like the gold price has been going up, like, over time, but right now is in a very slight downward slope. 
usually early on you need every penny you can get but it doesn't fluctuate enough to warrant hoarding your gold and then selling it all later so right now if we sell this one 1.38 ounce sorry 1.31 ounce gold bar we're gonna get sixteen hundred and seven dollars and we definitely need to do that yep get away all right and now as uh, gripping of gameplay as this is we get to go back to the blacksmith and smelt the rest of what we got As you can see, though, just uh, 1.3 ounces is already more money than we uh, than we started the game with. All right, so smelt everything else. 8.8, .8, which will take a large chunk of our money. Actually, it'll only take about half of our money, which is not too bad. And that'll give us a chance to. Uh, head into the shop and start looking at uh, upgrading further on in the tier one mining setup. Uh, we still have $732 to our name. So we should be able to at least look at some of the other options all right so let's pop open the journal and uh tier one all right so we made it through uh step 14 of the journal and now step 15 is if you want to upgrade your setup so we already have the sluice box extension and the two extra hog mats so the other options are we can upgrade the hog pump uh, hog pan to have a pump or I guess really a, uh, a water pump hookup uh, and then buying a water pump itself and some hoses and a water filter uh, so the hog pan pump would be 151 uh, the water pump would only be 201 so I think I can actually start doing this now water pump small a basic water pump Useful for short distances and low necessity of high water pressure. So, one of those. Uh, the hog pan pump. Advanced dirt hopper for the hog pan. Take the water pump and plug it in. You'll only have to supply the pay dirt. Uh, we're going to need uh, one fat water hose. Do you want a pump? Do you want to pump a lot of water over long distances? Buy our brand new red water hose and pump it. Uh, we are also going to need one water hose thin. Uh, is our new garden water hose what you're looking for? Don't hesitate and buy it. Your machinery will be thankful. Kind of weird that it's $35 and $5 more gets you a much thicker water uh, hose. Uh, now I have to try and remember... I think it might be in there. Over here is all the uh, mining tools and essentials. And then in here is all the repair and replacement parts for different things. Like uh, there's car batteries and tires and trailer tires. For every item that you can replace on a vehicle, there is also a more durable version so there's the normal car battery that's 179 bucks but there's also the durable one which is almost fifteen hundred dollars uh, and i'm pretty sure yes the water filters are right out here 149 bucks jesus our rivers are filled with pollution the government ought to think about cleaning them until then buy a water filter to not clog your pump so that should be everything I need. Now the question is, do I have enough money for it? I do! $576 to buy all of this stuff. And I'm pretty sure that's everything I needed. Ooh! I forgot one thing. A jerry can. Tell Mick from the gas station I said hi. You should get in touch with him. Two of you will see each other often. Will often see each other. 
because a lot of different things in this game run on gasoline and having a jerry can means I can fill them up at my parcel. Alright, so buy all of that. And now we get to load it all into the back of our beautiful half-rendered pickup truck. Now, usually items that have gas uh, do have half a tank when you initially buy them, which is pretty helpful. There's the jerry can, which I'm going to put right there. You know what? I'll close that up. Put in our small hose. our large hose and finally the water filter itself all right so now uh, before we head to the gas station that was a very wide turn before we head to the gas station we're going to head back to the blacksmith because our new gold bar is finished uh, we're also going to start using the headlights because it's getting a little dark. Uh, we might even get enough money out of this to upgrade our setup even further. Alright, so pop that in the back. Thankfully, you don't actually have to um, you don't actually have to keep track of that gold bar. I think even if you leave it back at the, the parcel on a shelf and then go to the bank, you are still allowed to sell it. Alright, so. I think we definitely want to sell this straight away. Uh, the stock has gone down a little bit further. Uh, but we're still going to make almost $10,000 from... Well, actually, if you include the other the other gold bar we sold, then we have made over $10,000 from just a single run-through of, uh, of the hog pan setup. Uh, actually, let's head over to the warehouse again because there might be a few more items that we can pick up to uh, really upgrade our setup. Oh, right. Uh, remember how I mentioned the batteries can be uh, one of the things that you have to repair? Leaving your headlights on while the engine is off is, is how you damage your battery. All right, so the wave table would cost $4,000. The wave table is basically an automated gold panning system. So the thing we were doing earlier with the giant basin of water and the pan of dirt, you just pour the dirt directly into this and it will automatically work through it in order to uh, give you the eventual gold. Um, a small trailer would be 1000 I would want one of those eventually. And a mobile generator is not a whole lot. Alright, so... I think we are going to do this. Um, how many... Outputs... Do you have? I think you have just the one. Alright, so I'm going to have to swap that up. Uh, mobile generator. The basic model of the generator. It can power all small machines. For bigger ones, you have to find something better. Um, and then the wave table. Are you tired of painting gold manually? Buy a wave table. Pour the soil inside and look how your jars are filling with gold. Uh, and I'm gonna need a small trailer. You don't... Oh, you don't have enough money for a big trailer? Buy a smaller one. It's almost the same, but half the price. And that... Oh, wait, no, I'm going to need a power cable. Which is over here. Uh... Yes. Is it? Wait a minute. Um... 
actually no. Hold on. Let me buy that stuff just so I can go out into the parking lot and take a look at the wave table. Because I'm not sure. F turn on our uh, flashlight. All right, so the generator has two high voltage output and one low voltage output. And the wave table has that looks like one small one. Yeah, because the big ones are really big. Uh, so actually, let me move the stuff out of the area first, just in case. And then run inside to buy a uh, low voltage power cable. A low voltage cable used in smaller machines. Take a look at the color of the plug and you will know if it's the one. Well. That didn't exactly help when looking at the wavetable because it was a white connector. Alright, so we also bought the small trailer. So I can grab the cord, put it back here. There we go. And then put the uh, generator itself in the small trailer. Nope. There we go. Yeah, once it becomes nighttime, the music gets very creepy for some reason. Uh, are you close enough? How about now? That should be fine. Close up the back. And now we have to Head over to the uh, gas station, but first we have to hook up to our new trailer. Is that close enough? There we go. And that's as simple as getting them close, and then you select use on the little uh, lever here, and it automatically connects up. So the gas station is to the right. I am surprised that the turning radius on the truck feels as wide as it is nowadays. Like it didn't feel this wide earlier. Maybe I'm just driving faster than I used to. Alright, so we are now at the gas station. That should be a good place to park. Cut off the engines, or the lights and the engine. Alright, so the gas station works kind of like everything else. Uh, you pick up the pump itself, or the handle, and then the game will show you different places that you can put it. So, you highlight the car, and it connects to the car. And then, for just over 15 gallons, we spend $162. Jesus. Uh, so let's fill up the small water pump while we're here. Be another just under 14 bucks. Fill up the jerry can. Uh, and finally, the mobile generator. All right, and now we should be all set. We just have to bring all of this fun stuff back to the parcel. In the dark, with creepy music, in a town where you don't actually see any people, but you hear them. Oh shit. And then you sometimes get your uh, truck caught on the rocks. Might as well turn the uh, differential lock back on. As far as I know, once you actually have items in the back of your truck or in a trailer, then once you start driving, they don't really bounce out, which is very, very helpful. Because uh, just driving between the town and Old Arnold's Parcel can be a very bumpy ride. 
We've still got forty-two hundred and sixty-one dollars left. Um, if I was smart, I probably would have spent some of that money to buy different uh, things we might need to repair in the near future. Um, but nothing, nothing we've worked with has come close to uh, being damaged enough to require repairs. Alright, we are back at the parcel. And all of this stuff is still part of the hog pan setup for the moment. Or is at least hog pan adjacent. So, let's park it up. Cut the lights. Cut the engine. Uh, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me set all this up in the dark. So instead, there's this trailer over on... Well, it's... It's on this end of this parcel, but there is one on every parcel. And if you use the door, then you can either sleep for an hour, or you can sleep all the way until dawn. And because we pass midnight, we get a summary for the day. Day one, we didn't have any workers to pay. Uh, we processed just over one cubic foot? It's not very clear. Uh, we earned only 1.28 ounces of gold. Uh, that does not include the nuggets. I'm not sure if the gold nuggets factor into the gold percentage that you end up losing each day. Uh, provision of rent in money. Because we didn't actually have any physical gold on us. Instead, the game decided to take that, what the percentage is, out of uh, the cash we had on hand. So now we are actually down to just under 4,000 gold. And yeah, so all of this hog pan stuff is going to still be used, except for the uh, hog pan itself on the top. So might as well grab that, and then we can run it down here to sell it, and uh, make back a tiny bit of money. Not that it's going to matter all that much. Hopefully not get caught on any fences. So over here you have a large section. That's where you park any vehicles that you end up wanting to sell. Uh, but if there's any small equipment, you go up the stairs, which don't have very good collision for the physics of this game, and then you dump the stuff into the big dumpster here. And then when you use the cash register, the game will give you, just like with the warehouse, a running tally of all the different things that you want to sell. So we're going to get 25 bucks for the hog pan with no pump. I don't remember how much it cost to initially buy it, but it might have been 50 bucks. So it's not a whole lot, but it's still, it's better than having it sit around and not be used. Uh, and now it actually looks like I'm getting close to running out of time for this video. So I think I'm going to save the actual setting up of all of this extended hog pan stuff for next time. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.